My one, I want to hear this one. Is it they true? already asked me two. No, 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 no. Because that one is actually out of the contest. My question is, is it true that one of the reasons why Jesus Christ was sent to this earth is to come and die for our sake? Brother, with all due respect, that's a different wait, wait, topic. All due no, respect. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, my brother. Brother, let me tell you why. No, 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 my brother, let me tell you why. You listen first. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Wait, let me give you my perspective. You know, you know, you know, you know, brother, you do, let's do one no, topic at a time. I am not helping anything. Let's do one topic at a time. I am not helping anything. No, he, it he, is the way, you. brother. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian or Muslim? Wait, I am not a baby. It doesn't matter if I'm a Christian or a Muslim. Because you're we're changing the topic now. I'm asking this gentleman, is it true? Can I address him first? Yeah, address us first. Address us first. You can't take three. I gave you the time. You can't address him. Address him. Address him. No, no. Forget my question. Exactly. That's why I'm asking only one. Okay, I'm one person at a time. And this is too much now. This is too much. One at a time. This is becoming too much now. Let's brother. Focus on me, focus on me, focus on me, my friend. Yeah, what I said, focus on me. Focus on me, my friend. Yeah, listen. What we're trying to understand is, yeah, bro, no disrespect, bro. Yeah, it's just one topic, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, bro. Look, the point is that we automatically agree that God can only do things that befits his majesty. Me and you both agreed that God cannot seize himself to exist. So we understand there's things that God cannot do because it's against his nature. For example, God dying. For example, God seizing himself to exist. So the question I'm gonna ask you, please respond to me, that me and you both agree that God is perfect. 100 percent perfect. But when a human, when an individual becomes a human, automatically you diminish your divine attributes. Therefore, you're not all knowing. Therefore, you're not all powerful. Therefore, you're not great. So that is a contradiction. Someone like you would agree, someone cannot be all knowing and not all knowing at the same time. That's a paradox. I'll let you respond to that, my friend. Yeah? No, no, bro, let him speak, man. Bro, you speak. Let him speak. No, 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 no. This is not fair. I agree, that's not fair. Let him speak. Okay, speak. Can I ask, uh, because speak. I my friend, my friend, listen, yeah, yeah. you can't let them uh, dictate you. You speak, no, you've got a mic for yourself. First of all, yeah. the premise is wrong. Right? Okay, why? Because we are saying, can God cease to exist? Because we're looking at him in human terms. And this is the problem that I have. But you agree with, with, him, with no. Sorry, but I'll let you speak. Okay, let me finish. I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. So the premise is wrong. God, by nature, is the self existent one. There's, there's no such thing for him It's a, uh, that he can cease to exist. Okay. Now, he can. He cannot do something, you said, this is what you said, he cannot do something that does not befit his majesty. Absolutely. Absolutely wrong. He can do it, but he will not do it. So can God cease to exist then? You cannot so, interrupt that, him, brother. Let him talk. No, yeah, no, let me no, finish. Speak. I just want to clarify. I, I finished uh, speaking so, on that, that, that. The premise itself is wrong. We are looking at it in human yep. terms. Yep. And, and my God is not a human. He is the God Almighty. We cannot look at him as something that, you know, That's fine. Okay, finish your point. I exist today, I, finish I don't point, exist my tomorrow. No problem. No, that, finish your point. I'm time bound. He's not. Okay, so so we cannot uh, ascribe that to him. Probably you can. I, but in my God, I do not limit him to that. But now, can he do something that befits his majesty? Uh, or, or would uh, negate his majesty. He can, at least my God can. Your God is limited, therefore he cannot. My God can, and in one instance he did. Because in the book of Philippines, let me pull up the verse. For okay, why did you pull up the verse? Quote, why I pull the verse? I'm gonna respond to you. Yeah. So we me, all agree and understand God by essence. Brother, one second, please. One second. One second. Let me, yeah, and then go let, yeah, let me respond. So we, you both. I will now ask you the question: Can God cease Himself to exist? You automatically, without hesitation, you agreed with this principle. You believe it does not make logical sense for God to die. So, so one thing. So, so, so let me respond. Let me respond. Let me respond, please. Yeah. So we know, as I was saying to you, that God by nature is self-sufficient. It would not make logical sense, and it is a it's a contradiction if God is so sufficient but at the same time relies on his creation to eat food. So in the Quran, Allah uses the argument to the Christians that Mary and Jesus used to eat food. God by nature is so sufficient. Humans are not so sufficient, therefore we have to eat food. So the same thing applies for Christianity as well. It's a contradiction when you say that God is so sufficient. Yes, he does not need his creation. He does not he does not cease to exist, but at the same time he requires food to eat. And at the same time, you're worshipping a baby that requires his mother for sustenance. So do you tell me why is that not a contradiction? Because you agree with my principle that God cannot cease to exist. So what how can God, the Almighty, the all powerful, the greatest, even Jesus said the Father is greater than I. Are you paying attention, brother? Yeah? Are you with me? Yes? So even Jesus, when he said no, the Father is greater than I, it's not yeah. new to you. You need yeah. to understand every single person right now has natural inclination, yeah, as Muslims. We believe in fitrah. So what I'm saying to you must appeal to your fitrah. God cannot be self-sufficient and at the same time required to eat food. 
Can I answer? No, but this is a little lengthy answer. Yeah. Just back to the question. The question took a long time. The answer has to take long. With all due respect, my friend, yeah, you have to answer my question. I'll just repeat. I'm going to answer just only that question. And God, as long as you don't stick to the topic. So can, can, I'll, I'll reply one more time. I'll say one more time. If God is so sufficient, why does He need His creation to eat food when He's the same God that does not need anyone? Isn't that a contradiction? Why is that not a contradiction? Yeah, okay. So before that, I said I'm going to pull up a verse. So let me just. Pull that answers that the question, first. no problem. Go for let it. Let me pull up that verse first. Yeah, if it answers the question. Um, in the book yeah, of Philippians, in, no two, uh, chapter 2, 5 to 8, um, this is talking about Jesus, who, though he existed in the form of God, talking about Jesus, referring to Jesus, though he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but emptied himself. Just talking about Jesus, emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, looking like other men, sharing a human nature. So what we what we established before is that God was fully human, fully, fully God, fully human. Why would he do it? Here the verse clearly says that he was God, he emptied himself because he wanted to come onto earth as man. If he's going to be born as man, then he has to do the full 10 years. Okay. That is, he has to be born as man, he has to live as man, he has to die as man. But now, what we believe is that he is 100% God, he's 100% man, the word of God, he, the word of God, Get the word of I see you're not listening. I'm okay. listening. Yeah, because listening. you'll ask me the same question. I'm listening. I'll I know what you said. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. So, Are you finished though? So the word of God took on flesh at one point of time, took on flesh. The flesh was born, and the word of God is eternal. He was not created at that time. The word of God was always the uncreated. Okay, God. can I respond to that? Now, yeah? flesh. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna respond to that. So the statement, no no, one second, no, no, no. No, no, so let's, bro, you finished. You spoke for a really long time. Look, you spoke for a really long time. Give me my respect as well. My friend, my friend, you answered the question. Let me respond. What's all this hassle? Guys, relax, everyone. Relax. We're having a discussion. There's so much people shouting everywhere. Let's relax. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. So, who, please. No, no, he finished, my friend. He finished. He finished, my friend. Bro, you answered the question. You said to me that a person is 100% God and 100% human. Let's analyze this, brothers. Yeah. Let's analyze this. Let's, guys, 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 let's analyze this. Yeah? Let's make it simple. Let's make it simple guys yeah so individual that's 100 percent human yeah so a human by nature by default he's not all-knowing he's not self-sufficient yeah he's not all-powerful and god by nature is all-powerful all-knowing all-seeing all-hearing yeah this is the attributes that as muslims affirm so now you tell me an individual that is 100 percent god and 100 percent human at the same time automatically when you become a human your divine attributes diminish Therefore, when someone asked Jesus, when is the hour? What did he respond with? So no one knows question. the hour except it. the Father. Wait, wait. Let me, let no, me, let me finish. Let, let me finish, please. That's a different oh, question. Let me finish, please. And he, uh, that's a very good point. Let, I need can to address you, can that I finish? separately. That's I fine. Address separately. Can I finish, please? Yeah? Can I finish? So what I'm saying to you, wait, wait, wait. Guys, guys. No, no. Guys, listen. As Muslims, listen, let me tell you something, guys. Yeah? One second. As Muslims, bro, we have the most logical understanding of Allah. Why? Because we believe Allah is all-knowing. He's eternal. Allah is all-knowing eternally. Allah is all-powerful all the times, not sometimes. That's why I'm saying to you, it does not make sense from your natural inclination, from your fritara, an individual is 100% God and 100% human. Because when a God enters his creation, what happens? His divine attributes, guess, gone, is demolished. Therefore, he's not the same God as all-powerful. Why did Jesus pray to the Father? Why did Jesus not know the hour? It's simple things. It's your revelation, my friend. You cannot answer this. You, got, you Christians are stuck. Okay. I'll speak, I'll speak. But well, you Christians are struggling though. You're struggling though. You're struggling. I'm struggling. You're struggling. Yeah. You're struggling. You're struggling. You're struggling. Yeah. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm saying Jesus. Now let me preach. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, you cannot go to the Father except through Jesus. There As Muslims, is no we believe that. Salvation other than Jesus. We Muslims okay. Muslim believe that though. I believe that. I believe that. Okay. You don't believe in the Jesus. I don't believe in Jesus. You don't believe in the Jesus that was crucified. You believe in a different Jesus. In fact, you believe in a different person altogether. His name was Isa. That's the point. Tackle the point. Tackle the point. Tackle the point. Tackle the point. Allow me to preach. Hundred percent God. Hundred percent human. Answer the question. Can we? Can we make this civil? Let's make it civil. Let's make it civil. Can I respond now? About hundred percent God. Yes. Don't preach because then I also need to. I don't want to preach. Honestly. I want to preach my religion too. I want. I don't. No. Forget preaching. I'm not here for preaching. I'm not here for preaching. I'm to give each other two three minutes. Is that all right? Yeah. But but raise a point and don't preach. Wait wait. If not, I will. You raise a point. 
minute each. One minute each. Whatever you want to use your two minutes. If you want to preach or whatever, one minute each. go ahead and do it. But do not interrupt anyone. One minute each. One minute each, please. Ready? Agreed? Is it one or two minutes? He asked me three questions. Just do one minute each now. Let's get to the point, guys, man. Come on. Let's... It's one all right. Or two. Oh, one minute. All right, one minute start. Okay. Answer my question. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, answer my yeah, question. Hundred percent God, hundred percent human. How does that make logical sense, God? Okay. So which one? Yeah, I'm only answering. 100%. Answer that question. Yeah. The foundation. Please don't interrupt him. Go on. Okay. So again, I'm telling you, I'll give you an analogy, a poor analogy, because God is beyond our comprehension. But let me give you in human terms an analogy. Okay. If I get a call from my wife, okay, it's her word on this phone. I will be speaking to a piece of plastic, or will I be speaking to my wife? Speak to your wife. I will be speaking to my wife and thank you for saying that. Jesus is the word of God in flesh. He will appear in flesh. If I destroy the flesh, the word of God is still self-existent. The word of God is different from the flesh. If my, my wife can put her word in this phone, in a piece of plastic, are you telling me your God cannot put his word in a piece of flesh? I do not want to worship a God that is so weak that he cannot do it. A man can put word in plastic. A man can put his word on a screen. A man can put a word on a CD, but God cannot put his word in flesh. What kind of God are you worshipping? Come to the come to Christianity because that is the way, the truth and the life. Come to come to the Lord Jesus. He is the way, the truth and the life. Yeah. Thank you. Go on. Okay, cool. Guys, if you notice, brothers, yeah, he did not answer the question. The clear question that I gave this individual is, how can something be 100% God and 100% human That's at the same time, when even logically speaking, as human beings, we know Listen to me. Hello, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's a contradiction. Like I said to you, someone cannot be, like for example, let's say yeah, I know everyone's name here, yeah, everyone's name, but I don't know your name. Is that same person all knowing? Of course he is not, because he knows everyone's name, but except your name. So that's what I'm saying to you, 100% God and 100% human, when an individual, an entity, so-called God, that's all powerful, all knowing, he entered into his creation, he became a baby, he required his mother to eat food, you know, he went to the toilet, because but when you eat food, you defecate as well. That same person was all knowing, that same person was all powerful. You guys worship a baby, free Allah. Alhamdulillah for Islam, we worship one Allah. He has no partners. You know, we affirm him as, as, as the Ahad, one, in the, one entity. He does not require his son to eat food. Why? Because we worship Allah that is all powerful, all and is greater than his creation. Just like Jesus said in the Bible, the Father is greater than I. Alhamdulillah. Answer the question, please. Yeah. Great. I'm, I'm talking the about phones and stuff. I answered the question. I answered it about. We're talking about phones, my friend. I, I spoke about the phone because I'm giving you the anal analogy. My wife's word comes to me from the phone. My wife can do a lot of things. This, which this plastic cannot do. Again, he's 100% God, 100% man. It's no logical fallacy. Contradiction. No log logical. That's according to you. Okay, now when Jesus appeared in the flesh, there were certain attributes that the Word of God, not the Godhead, had to deny. One of those attributes was his omnipresence. So he wasn't. One of the attributes. Are you contradicting me? Him. Don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt uh, you. Okay, the, one of his. Right? Go on. Okay, so one of the attributes that he denied was his omnipresence because the word of God is present everywhere. One of the attributes that he denied was the knowledge of the last hour. That, that doesn't mean that he was not God. He can voluntarily deny that. He can voluntarily take it up again. The Godhead still had all of the attributes. Again, if I speak to my wife on a piece of plastic, will you say that I'm mad at speaking to plastic? No, I'm speaking to my wife. If again, I'm asking you the same question, your weak God cannot put his word in flesh, but intelligent man can put their word in plastic. I destroy the plastic, the body is gone, but the word remains. All right, guys, honestly, yeah, I don't like having these one-minute discussions because I, I like to pin you down to be fair, yeah? So I'd, I'd rather, let's turn the time off because all you're talking is contradiction. This individual said that God diminished his attributes. Wait, listen to me, listen to me. God diminished his attribute of all knowing. So when Jesus, yeah, when when someone asked Jesus, wait, wait, when Jesus, when someone asked Jesus, when was the hour? He goes, no one knows except the Father. So either there's two options here. Either he was lying. He knew the hour, so apparently his attributes diminished. So either he knew the hour and he did not tell the person, and by nature we know Allah speaks the truth. So Jesus has to speak the truth. Oh, oh, one second, one second, my friend, listen. One second, my friend. Oh, either he is, either, one second, either, either he is not God at all. 
because if by God, by nature, by default, he has to be all knowing. So it doesn't make any logical sense that I'm a God, I empty myself out of humbleness and therefore I become a human being. Yeah, brother, it doesn't make sense. It's self-contradictory. It's what we call a contradiction. Someone cannot be all knowing and not all knowing at the same time. So your beliefs, honestly, hey, brother, 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 well, go when on. You said empty does that mean that he's diminishing his gods? Actually, so he's not 100% gods. So look, let me ask you a question. Can you see how many people are around? Okay, let me do 10 seconds. Let me do 10 seconds. Your God is extremely weak because he cannot do a few things that even man can do. Did my God die? Did my God die? Wait, wait, wait. Did my God die? Did my God die? Man can do. Did my God die? Your God is not the all-powerful God. Did my God die? My God is the all-powerful God, almighty God. Therefore, he came in the flesh okay. to show us how so to your live. God, to wait, 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 wait. how to live. Your God is more, a demonstration wait, wait. of how to live. So your God is more powerful than my God, yes? Exactly. Okay, guys, this brother said his God is more powerful than my God. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did my God die? Hello, hello. Did, did my God die by the Romans? No. Wait, wait, did my God, wait, wait, did my God die by the Romans? Wait, 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 did my God die by Romans? <laughs> oh, my wife. My wife is dead. Oh, my wife is dead. What's the point? point? What's the point? You are collapsed. You are collapsed. Come on. Did my God die by the Romans? I'm talking to my wife on this phone. If I break this phone, it's my wife dead. Come on, use your head. You do not have What is he talking about? What do you mean, I? That's exactly what I'm saying. The word of God came into flesh. The word of God came into flesh. If the flesh dies, does God die? Use your sense. I do not understand what Muslims are saying. Relax, relax, my friend. Relax. My friend, relax. My friend, relax. My friend, relax. Guys, relax. I think you're getting a bit. Relax, 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 relax. Wait, so look. No, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. That's what I'm shouting to them. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. That's why. That's why. Look, the claim that you made is that you said that your God, which is Jesus, is powerful than my God. I ask you the question: Did Allah? Get killed by the Romans. Again, I'm saying. Did that's Allah get killed by the Romans? That's foolishness. Your God no got killed God by the Romans. God killed. Did, okay, wait, no wait, 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 wait. Again. again, I told you I use the analogy of the phone. Wait, wait. If I break this phone, is my wife going to die? No. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Get real. Understand the concept. You're not listening to me. You're not listening okay, to that's me. Fine. That's why you're asking that's fine. this question. Wait, wait. If you had listened, I gave you the concept of this phone. If you had listened, if I break this phone, my wife is not going to die. Understand that's, 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 that's the flesh died, God said, cannot die. Prophet, not God. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll you, get you just say, okay, listen, 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 listen. You're, you're, I'll get you, you're yeah. still trying to insist I'll, on the fact that... Hey, I'm not shouting for disrespect. But you have to let me speak to you. Go on, I'm going to say You're trying to insist on the fact that God is 100% human. Jesus is 100% human, 100% God. If I take a square and I take away one of the sides of it, is there a square anymore? No, it's a triangle. You're telling me that your God cannot do it. You cannot. There you are. What? No, wait, wait, wait. He just contradicted himself. Contradiction. Contradiction. Okay, okay you, you said God is weak because God cannot make a square circle. Is that correct? Come on! Does that make God weak? Does that make that. God weak? No, 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 no. Your God, God is limited. limited. God weak? Your God is limited. You said, you said so God is weak. I, so I gave you an analogy where okay. somebody's word I heard, is plastic. I've heard it a ten times. And God cannot do his word and you're giving you me said, something totally different. You said God they is weak. They are not the same. You, you said not my, the same. You said, my God is, you said my God is weak because he can't create a square circle. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I said your God is weak. Because he can't put his word in flesh. I can put my word in plastic, but your God can't put his word in flesh. That's why I said you didn't understand. Okay, but listen, listen. Focus on me now. Yeah, focus on me. Let's get back to the. I think you're a bit hyped up because there's a lot of people here. Let's go back to the foundations. Yeah. I'm glad you understood that. That's fine. I understood that. I understood that. Because you know, earlier on the conversation, you said to me when I asked you the question, can God cease himself to exist? Can we wind up in? Yeah, we will. We wind up. That's fine. So I asked you the question, can God cease himself to exist? You said to me, no. You said to me, no. And now you're making the claim that oh. You believe your God can't do everything. That same principle. Wait, 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 wait. Your si that same principle. Brothers, brothers, brothers. One second, brothers. So that same principle that you use, you're saying that we're inconsistent. My friend, you are inconsistent. If you're saying that God cannot see Himself to exist, and then we, and then 
you say to us that, oh, God is limited. Why is God limited? Why? Because Allah does not die by the Romans. So God can do everything. So, wait, let me die. Finish. My finish. So God cannot. So you're saying that Islam, Muslims, our, our belief is limited. is because we believe that Allah cannot die by the Romans. So if Allah dies by the Romans, that means we're not limited. A'udhu Billah. Look, we have to understand God can do everything that befits His Majesty. God, by nature, is ever living. You know, He's living. He cannot die. That will go against His Majesty and His attributes. So yours, the principle that I'm using you, just to wrap up is, that for example, look guys, think about this here. Yeah? Allah has given all of us natural inclination, fitrah. Think about this. Don't do this for the sake of debating. I'm the head of debating. I'm very convinced of my belief. That's fine, like, that's fine, that's fine. Let me say, look, uh, if I destroy this phone, my wife or okay, let me finish off, talking please. to me let me finish is off. not going to get destroyed. Please don't use the same argument. My friend, no, let me finish. you're incorrectly, I'm not sure if it's Bro, because of the cameras or not. You're incorrectly using the same argument. Can God die? Can God die? I've been clearly Look, I'm going to walk away. Look, look. It's on camera. I've been clearly established. Are you here for the camera or are you here for the no, truth? I, that's what I'm telling you. Are you here for the camera? You're saying that, you're saying that on camera. Okay, I'm from the camera. Look, 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 look I'm going to wrap up. Is you, 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 Listen, you agree. You agree. Very much. Okay, again, I'm telling you, again, I'm telling you, I've told you this on camera. Relax, 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 relax. You're hyped up a bit, I understand. Relax yourself, relax yourself, please. Relax yourself, relax yourself. God cannot die. When it, when Jesus was on the cross, it is the flesh that was crucified. Again, that's why I'm giving you this example, but you're refusing to accept it. You're coming back to the same thing. That's why I am inviting you to the truth. Okay. Become a okay. Christian. You're preaching now. You're, you're preaching. Now you're preaching. Now you're preaching. Now. You're preaching. One second. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, listen, listen. Look, look, look. The question, look, the, at earlier on, yeah, you made a statement. You said that your God is more powerful than my God. And when I asked you, the, when I said to you that my God did not die by Romans. Now, let's wait. I'm analyzing. You're saying that Jesus, at that time, was he God or not? Was Jesus God in his flesh? Yes. There's, there's the... Wait, wait, let me clarify, please. Eh? So we believe there's, th there's three persons, right? And they're all God. Jesus is God, the Father is God, and Holy Spirit is God. Do they have, uh, each have their own will? Do each have their own will? Will, yeah, absolutely. So we can agree Jesus, even as a person, he was still a, a, a God, okay? So now we have to under analyze this now, yeah, guys? So when Jesus was on the cross, do you believe that God Died or do you believe the flesh died? I want to answer. I want you to clarify this question. I've answered this. The I'm flesh died. The flesh died. The flesh died. But I'm we agree that. Wait, 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 wait. But Jesus had clearly established it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The flesh died. God cannot die. But Jesus had his own. Wait, one second. Jesus as was a God, of course. Jesus as a will. He had his own will as well. Can, can we speak afterwards, please? Please, please my yeah. friend, my friend. Jesus. No, I, I'm, I'm able to speak to you. Relax, relax, relax. relax. Do it later. My friend, relax, relax, relax. relax, relax, relax. He's asking questions as well. Okay, listen, relax, yeah. my brother. Look, I'm saying to you that Jesus was a God as well. He had his own will. I'm trying to use your principles. So when I'm saying that Jesus died, I'm clearly giving you the principle that you guys believe that Jesus, as, as a, in, his form, in his form, he was God as well. So for example, when Jesus did not know the hour, was that his God nature speaking or was that his human nature speaking? He denied certain attributes. Again, I told you so what wait, the attributes God, that he denied was his own God presence. nature or human nature? The word of God is only You present. cannot deny your God attributes. God cannot can okay, cool. deny. So your, that means so your God cannot for a certain time deny his no. attributes. It is God head which will not or will not be able to deny any attributes. Okay, so can the I word of God answer this question. He denied his can God he denied his wait, wait, wait. He denied his splendor. Denied the hey, listen. That was due to relax, him. relax, relax. He denied Let me speak. Can God be all knowing and not all knowing at the same time? No, he cannot. Why can't he not? No, he cannot. Why can he not be? Because that's a paradox. Exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Allah, 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 Allah. <laughs> same, same thing. When God becomes a human, that's a paradox. Because 100% human, 100% God, you will have to diminish your attributes. That's a contradiction. Goodbye, my friend.